On the slopes of Plashivica mountain, more than 40 wine growers work in wine tourism today. Once upon a time, this region was brimming with fiacres, horse-drawn carriages, delivering Portuguese wine to Zagreb and tourists to Plashivica. At its center stood the famous Villa Chorvat, a hill summer retreat visited even by celebrities like Charlie Chaplin and Isadora Duncan. There, they enjoyed dancing, skiing, bowling, and delicious food and wine. On return, they could take home a unique souvenir, hand-painted decorative glasses. In addition to its wine-growing history, this most significant wine region of central Croatia, once gentrified by the Counts Erdodi, has a rich craftwork history. The Jastrbalsko Town Museum keeps historical records written by the skillful hands of many craftsmen, from coopers and innkeepers to cobblers and cordwainers. on the paths of the Plashivica wine route. Let them take you to a simpler way of life, where time passes more slowly. Samobor, a town of carnival, hikers, mustarda mustard and kremsnita cream cake, is a place of over seven centuries old wine growing tradition. The veneration of wine also encouraged a glassmaking industry that has been filling our grandmother's cabinets for almost 200 years. Right here on the Zumberak Mountains, one of the first Croatian glass factories was founded. In the collection of the Sambor Museum, there are more than 300 glass objects made in the Osredek factory. Welcome glasses, so-called bilikums, whose name derives from the German word willkommen, were particularly valued. It is said that a visitor to a wine grower's house could not cross the threshold without taking a welcome drink. So strong was the culture of wine and the Samobor Bermet, the homemade liquor once made in almost every household. Embark on the paths of the Samobor wine route. Let them take you to a simpler way of life, where time passes more slowly. In the middle of the 18th century, in Shmaria Prijelšach, the parish priest Dr. Matej Vrecher began constructing a calvary with 14 chapels, thus initiating a tradition of pilgrimage. The local records show that on some days, up to 12,000 pilgrims walk the calvary path. During the period of great drought, according to the legend, the chapels were rendered with a wine-based plaster. In this long-established wine-growing region, wine was more abundant than water. At one point, the parish priest Vrecher alone had 100,000 litres of wine. Today, the Museum of the Baroque, situated at the foot of a hill, looks after over 40 restored Baroque sculptures from the chapels along the Calvary route. Sculptures of the Passion of Jesus invite us to approach them and feel the spirit of the past. The Calvary is surrounded by 70 kilometers of wine routes of the Obsotelian Kozianska region, an area rich in wine growing, ethnographic, and cultural history. Embark on the paths of the wine routes. Let them take you to a simpler way of life, where time passes more slowly. Did you know that even Ludwig van Beethoven had relished the wine of the Kraljevina variety from Zelena? His friend, the Countess von Erdodi, used to send it to him, and in return he dedicated two trios to her. The objects found at the old fortifying town of Zelengrad, symbol of the birthplace of the father of modern viticulture, Dragutin Strazimir, of the poet, Dragutin Domjanic, and the artist, Vjenceslav Richter, are preserved at the museum Sveti Ivan Zelina, where they tell stories of love for wine, companionships, customs, and of over seven centuries long wine-growing tradition. Viticulture, the planting and cultivating of vineyards, as well as enjoyment of wine, have shaped this region both geographically and ethnographically. Embark on the paths of the Zelena wine route. Let them take you to a simpler way of life, where time passes more slowly.